What's up, everybody? This is episode three of Neutral Air. I'm with my best friend, Actual Garbage. Wow, What's up, three man? episodes in and we're best friends. Dude, we? hell yeah, man. <laughs> I can't complain. Dude, I'm so glad we reconnected through Smash Bro. True, Dude, yeah. That was, that was, we used I to was, play Magic the Gathering back in the day, bro. That was like a back in the day, too. And then Can I you just, remember what, just what like set? came into like UG one day. I was like, oh, man, yeah, really? you like Smash Brothers? Yeah, hell yeah, man. And here we are. But, uh, oh, no, I can't. It was a while ago. But I, I forgot what set that we... But uh, nonetheless, anyway, <laughs> um, we're here to bring some awareness to commentating. I know this is your big field, not yep. me, so I'm going to be this, probably asking you the most questions. That's about fine, everything. Man. This is my episode. I was just so, like, all right, but can we talk about commentary? Yeah. So basically what I want to ask you is like, or probably like a lot of people, uh, how, do, how does like one begin to start commentating? I always tell people like... Uh, if they're interested in commentary, they've probably been to plenty of Smash tournaments, mm -hmm. and it's exactly the same as being a Smash player. You just like just show up and do your best. But it's a little different with commentary. Literally, like, all tournaments you could just show up and play. But mm -hmm. with commentary, it's like a grind yeah. almost. You know, because you have to. You basically just have to start out at like smaller events, mm -hmm. that, and then like really work on it, because it like. The tournament will take literally anyone who, who walks in the door to sign up. But commentary yeah, yeah. desk, man, it's only got two seats. Exactly. And they only exactly. got so many slots. Yep. But still, it's like, you know, roughly the same. You know, it's just practice, 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 more practice. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, pretty yeah. much it. So, like, we think, like, if, if someone came to you and was like, hey, I want to start commentating, who, who, the, who are, like, the people, like, around, like, certain terminators? Like, you got, you know, let's say, you know, UG, for example. Like, sure. If you want to come and commentate, usually some people ask me, I'm like, go talk to Actual Garbage because <laughs> he is the person that runs all the commentary, like him, and then we got uh, Ajax. Ajax right. is taking out. Dude, he's he's amazing. He's bro. great, dude. dude. So I'm, I'm like, blown away. Yeah, so I when people ask me, like, yeah. yo, Drizzen. Just throw me under the bus is what you're saying. Yeah, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I respect it. Yeah, I just try to – I try to – with me, I want people to – how do how I put this? Like, develop their own person. So right. I'm like, yo, you're commentating. You handle all that shit, yep, man. Like, definitely. if like that's why I put you like in front of. You know, I'm like, you take care of UG uh, commentating. I don't want. I mean, you can tell me like what's up with it. Right. But like that's this is your shit, man. This is like your your section of UG, man. You handle how you see fit. So gotcha. that's why I send everybody to. You. So when when they come up to you, like, yo, AG, how do how do I get on? What's like, what can I practice on Tuesdays for the weekly? Do I go come Friday? Like, what's the deal? Uh, usually, I just tell them to go Fridays. You know, Fridays mm -hmm. is like slightly more laid back. I yeah, would definitely. Say, you Dude, know? you know, I'm starting to like Fridays. Yeah, man. yeah. Like just everyone th always like, man, Fridays is sweet. You know, like Tuesdays is great and all, but yeah. like sometimes you just want like a like, nice. Yeah, they don't, they don't really have any like PR players where it's right, like, oh, right. I'm just gonna play late. Like, oh just, like, yeah. Lose, like, you look at your bracket and you're like, oh, I guess I'll be out by round, you know, losers round two or something. You know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. But um, I think the commentary there is uh, reflective of that. You know, if you want to like practice, just hang out. Relax, yeah. talk about Smash Brothers. Perfect place to do it. Definitely. And then you could work that in, you know, if, like, you were, like, hey, I want to do it on a Tuesday. Normally, uh, we're pretty packed on Tuesday. We have, like, yeah. everyone who's been working for, like, a very long time. It's hard to just, like, jump in front of them. Yeah, exactly. So I think, like, if you came on a Tuesday and you're, like, oh, well, uh, here's me putting in work on the Fridays, I'd be, like, oh, all right. Like, yeah, yeah. Cause like, you a spot. I think the new direction that at least I see UG going Especially like on Tuesdays, it's like I want to keep the list to six to eight. Sure, Maybe that yeah. sounds right. Yeah. Like you know, you, Ajax, um, well, a couple other names. The, right. uh, Dan, you know, uh, Sky. Oh Hook. yeah, Skyhook, right, right, dude, right. phenomenal. Like yo, him and Feminist, really yeah. good. Yeah, I yeah, love that duo, duo, man. Yeah. This, you know, if you want to follow uh, uh, Feminist, he's right here, and then you got we can get a uh, Skyhook right here. Uh, yeah, yeah definitely duo. follow those guys, man. Like, I can, dude. It's like I want, you know what? I, I think some Tuesday I just want them to just commentate all top eight. Damn, and just right. you know, just just uh, just to give them just to give them that one. You oh, know? for like, sure, yeah, dude, yeah. I I just like it's like some people just mesh like real well, like do yep. like TK Breezy and E dude. Like Fantastic. it was like I I've, I've watched you guys just for like the the entertainment and shit. Like right. you guys are like it just like that's what like draws me sometimes. Like 
makes me want to watch this event more because like i know who's top eight in commentary and that's like a solid point i was going to work in later but you went and you know set it up perfectly is the the reason like i think that's a good format yeah the, the scheduled you know blocks and whatnot is because commentators are like the face of the stream yeah like, whether exactly. you know it or yep. not you know like mm -hmm. they're watching the game sure but like the commentators are going to keep them there they're going to like either class up the joint or you know give mm -hmm. it a bad rep you know because that's what they're hearing that's what they're listening to so i mean in the nicest way possible like you got to be good you know if you, uh, definitely if you want to get on the microphone because I know, I know, I'm not good at commentating. I'm just, oh, I wasn't saying you, but I just, I, I just hop on and just like swear a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still remember some of like the very early UG weeklies where it's just like you and the Murder Beto, just like, yeah, it's yeah. pretty good match. Yeah, right it's now. pretty good match, though. <laughs> but oh, yeah, it's so important because it's like it's like a PR thing, you know. You have to yeah, have exactly. good commentators. You have to have commentators who want to be there, who know about the game, who can talk to the other mm -hmm. commentator mm -hmm. fluidly, and. I think that's really important. So I think Fridays is a you know great place to start, and then like roll it into the Tuesday weeklies. But yeah, definitely. I don't know. It's just uh, good to have solid combos of people. Like even some some people on their own probably not the best commentator, but the combos make them that much better. Yeah, know? yeah, exactly, exactly. So I think scheduling helps with that too. So you're not just like, hey, uh, this good commentator and this good commentator, and then they just don't work out. You know. Yeah, it's I can see that. Like, like, you can't, it's hard to have, like, oh, I wouldn't say hard, but, like, you need, like, one hype person and then one, like, like a, like a D1. Yeah, yeah. You know, someone just, like, I like, I like someone who knows, like, all the stats of the game. Right. And then you have, like, a lore links where it's just, like, <laughs> exactly. yo, when someone's doing something dope, you, you know, let him take over and just, like, right. exactly. and just let knock him, it out. Let him do it. Let him set up the story. Yeah. You know, he's always uh, big into, like, theatrics. You know? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I let him have it. And then when they get back to neutral, I'm like, all right, but let me talk about that exchange. <laughs> yeah, neutral, right there. Oh, get back to neutral. <laughs> get back to neutral. So yeah, definitely, it's it's a, a winning strategy. And again, the schedule helps with that too. You know, making sure you don't get you know two hype men on the same time. They're just sitting there yelling at each other. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Or two analytical people at the same time, and they're sitting there mumbling frame data back and forth. You know, yeah, it's not, doesn't doesn't work. Doesn't work, work out. Yeah. yeah. So I I think yeah I think moving forward, like if you really want to commentate like UG, come to the Come to the Friday Weekly. Just, it, like, don't even play in the tournament. Just, like, I'm not saying that you, you know, can't have to, yeah, but, like, no, no, no. just come down and literally just sit in the commentator seat and just, I mean, there's only, it's not, we get, I don't know, like, 8 to 16. That's how, like, Friday, like, it varies. Yeah. But, like, just having the commentary there, it, 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 for those eight people, it makes them feel like, it's like, oh, mom, Friday's popping off. Like, exactly, even though we got yeah. eight people, we don't give a fuck. No, it's fine. But, but I think it's important. And another thing that I would probably mention is... Having like footage of you commentating, even if it isn't like you know, yeah. is so great because when you're like, oh, I want to commentate it Tuesday, I'm like, all right, do you have a, like a set that you commentated? And I can be like, oh yeah, that's good, that's bad. Or, yeah, yeah. And it's I can also see that, yes. really important to sort of rewatch sets you've commentated if you're like really so, yeah. So so basically, it. what you're saying is like build your own profile. Yeah. So yeah. like it, yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. And having like things to look back on really helps with that. So um. Oh, here's, here's a, like a big, big thing about commentating, like knowledge of the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, I can't stand when people get on the mic, <laughs> right, right, and they don't know what the fuck they're talking yep. about. Like, yeah, that's why I don't step on, 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 like, like when I'm when I when I'm listening to the commentator, like I understand everything that they're saying, right. But if you put me on the mic trying to say, I'm like, I don't know I what don't the know. fuck, yeah. like I don't know I don't what's know. going on. Right. I don't know if that makes sense or not. No, like, no, it <laughs> definitely does. I think it's a, a, another interesting point because like sometimes you don't know, and yeah, there's two things to say about that sometimes it's all right not to know yeah. but don't just make something up oh dude because that's someone the in the chat definitely knows and they'll let you know and yeah. then like all of a sudden you you get this sort of like rep i wouldn't even say reputation but now they know like oh this guy just says stuff you know how yeah. can i trust anything next thing says, you turn you know? into a meme right and you're beholding a donut in and your mouth. exactly and then <laughs> there's also like an overcorrection where if you like know too much about the game yeah some people don't care dude they don't care what frame that guy's jab is compared to that guy you could just say that it's faster like yeah. that's great to know but like sometimes people get slogged up in like the knowing things yeah i think <laughs> finding that balance is like the best part or like the best commentators are good at you know just finding the sweet spot of like letting you know the information without like bogging you down with the information yeah super important all right so um Bigger, big events like mm. Shine, Big House, Genesis. 
And do you think, like, how hard do you think you have to work as a commentator to actually get to that point where you can be scheduled in at one of those big events? Because, like, when when you go to the type of big events, like, if you are if you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh, that's it. You know, like, that's it's it, like, dude, your dude like, over. Yeah, you know? <laughs> exactly. If man. you so show up like, to a huge event like that. Yeah, ill prepared. Like that's gonna be it. It's gonna be your last big. So event. like um, like for shine when they had their, you know the the application comes out of like yo we want commentators event you know, fill out any kind of information or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like how like when a person does that, is it like a selective list of like x amount of people that they take or is oh, it like yeah definitely. So, uh, this is also part of my earlier point is yeah. when you apply to commentate you know they give you like give me your name your phone number your tag all that stuff but they also ask you to put your reel in right so like literally everybody is sending in the best of the best of their commentary yeah okay and that's why i think it's so important to commentate so many events you know make sure you're good at it and then to find like points where you're really good at it yeah exactly. to advertise yourself so they just go through and they watch the reels and they're like oh this guy's good this guy sucks uh this guy is too expensive this guy you know like all that and oh, yeah. they find like that perfect sweet spot within mm -hmm. the budget they're like hey this guy's the best for the money we'll, we'll take that guy i hear you man. but it really is it just comes down to you know working like i said you got to start out make sure you're good enough and then you still have to like constantly go to smaller events so that you have this sweet footage to show people at bigger events so they want to sign you on for you know your shines or your big houses yeah I mean, if like even if they don't have like a like let's say if like the stream is not up, man, just like local record yourself, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, just just get any kind of footage that where you doing something. Exactly. You know that that would that would help. Um, comedy. I think do we do we cover everything that we wanted to talk about? Yeah, for the most part, I think we did. I think that's commentary in a nutshell. <laughs> for the most yeah, part. right. Yeah, that's something that I just like know nothing about, man. Like, I I I tried. To, I was like, yo, I'm gonna try to like. Try to do it this right, one time. Yeah. I'm just like sitting on the mic. I'm like, no, I, bro, yeah. this is just not. It's worth just me. for some people, and so it's not for some people, man. It's yeah. a very weird thing, but I love it. Yeah, I don't mind talking about it, right? Because right. I like, I don't know. As a concept, it's great, but sometimes in practice, you're like, man, I don't want to talk about this. Yeah, definitely, man. But uh, another thing too, like if if you are local to the UG scene and mm -hmm. you uh, you know come down on a Friday and you do want to, you know, move on to the Tuesday schedule. Let me know. You know, I'll, uh, I could do a block with you here or there. I'm usually just here to commentate after doubles anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I'm always happy to help yeah, I people like that, like, on the commentary. Yeah, when you told me that you're like, oh, I'm just playing doubles and just, you know, focus on commentary. And when you told me that, like, I think it was like, I think a month ago, a yeah. month maybe? About a month six, half, yeah, six yeah. weeks, yeah. Yeah, you just came out and you're like, man, it's just, just going to kind of, yeah. yeah, grind out commentating like a yeah. lot more and shit. Like, I like, um, dude, Ajax has been putting on like a lot of work, man. For I like, sure, yeah. like, Sometimes I'm just I look at the some of the stuff he like he like like how he like how he operates and it was just like you know he puts you know like certain people in the the commentary and I I at first I can't look at him like oh this person should have been on but like right. I understand like what he's actually doing he's like oh I'm gonna sit this person down with someone that actually knows how to commentate like yep. he'll sit someone down next to like like Skyhook for example right and. Just to see like how how well he like could bounce you know or like how he actually does come in. so like yeah. it gives him like a short little trial run or whatever so I'm like right, you know like then I just step back I'm like yo just Ajax just do your thing bro yeah. like like you, you already know what the hell you're doing exactly. man so I'm like that, that that takes another part of me like I just want to step away from it like let you guys handle your shit and just do it how you see fit but you know if you guys ever need need any help you know just that's what I'm here for just the Give my little two cents, but sure. I just want you guys to just do your own things and just yep. become your own persons and shit, man. That's what it's all about. So, uh, yeah, you know, come on down, man, if you're trying to commentate. Yeah, man, definitely. All right, guys, we'll catch you later. Peace. Peace.